J to the L-O, hello. What's Hi. happening, Jennifer? How, How are, are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm so happy to be here right now because, first off, welcome back home. Thank Hot you. Hot 97, we miss you very, very <laughs> much. I know you're busy out here doing your thing. I'm so excited to see you and French connect again on medicine. I know. I know. I love working with French. You know, we're both from the Bronx, and we, we just have a similar vibe in that way. I feel like a lot of people are jealous because this is like the third time you've worked with French, right? Yes. It's been a couple times. Yes. We're not spreading out the love. What's happening out here? I don't, I don't know. I just I, ha chemistry. I have my go tos. I have yeah. chemistry with people, and I like working with them over and over. Yeah, no, yeah. I love it. And we actually had a chance to see the video. My God, <laughs> my God. So I, I love the all white theme. Yeah, you know, not a lot of people could pull off all white. <laughs> you can like a whole all white outfit because you know you get to see everything yeah but you you did such a flawless job it was with fun them. it was a fun video to shoot it was a lot of fashion which yes. we love so my team was very excited like my hair and makeup my styling team all of them they were like oh this is gonna be so much fun and just like creating the looks and what we're gonna do within the setups and stuff we worked with a director named Jora francis a female director and and we just we just had the best time and i feel like at this point in your career you could do whatever you want if you want to have a carousel and you want to have the whole carnival environment in fashion couture you can yeah, do that 50 foot cake whatever and <laughs> and of course you know i love the fortune teller moment yes right i love that have you ever gone to a fortune teller yeah of course yes yes i love you right now <laughs> i went one time and she was like spot on and i was like yo yeah. some of them no some of them don't yeah yeah has everything been spot on for you with them not always not always yeah get your money back be yeah. like yeah how much i paid you <laughs> but you know what uh we all of course love one of the main shots in the video it's uh your gorgeous behinds yeah right <laughs> so how many squats are you doing a day j-lo like give us it's been years we've been trying to figure this out it's not it's not about squats a day i think it's just about being consistent i just you know i've always been into being healthy and I just try to keep it up. You know, one of the videos that I love is the videos that you and your man do, and you are never tired, and he's always <laughs> tired, and I'll be like, damn. He's not always tired, but I do have a lot of stamina. You know, like, I do two-hour shows. I, you know, do a lot of cardio. I'm very kind of like, my stamina is very high. Plus, yeah, you, your residency in Vegas. Yeah. So you're, you're a natural performer for a years yes so yes you're being so humble because i look at you and i'm like how how is she doing this right now and you're up early i remember this one post yeah. you had and like getting ready to go to the gym and your skin's glowing i'm like fam <laughs> how how are you balancing everything in your life you know right it's, it's sometimes it's just about fitting it in yeah like finding it and not being i think sometimes if you don't like if you're talking about the gym or working out or whatever, like you go to the gym in the morning and people, if they miss that or they don't have that opportunity, they go, okay, forget it. Right. But for me, it's like, well, maybe we can go in the middle of the day or maybe I can go late at night. Right. And then go and have a good night's sleep. Like I will fit it in where I can fit it in. You make an effort. Yeah. You have to just kind of like, can't be so conventional all the time. You have to kind of break out of the, the routine. What's been the hardest part for you in mommyhood and becoming a mother? And is it n having enough time to spend with the kids? Yeah, like I think as a mom, a working mom, and I yes. think all the working moms out there know that there's never enough time. There's never right. enough time. You always want more time with your kids. They're growing up too fast. The whole thing, you know, like right. you just still see them as babies. Right. They're 11 years old. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's just, it's crazy. But um, yeah, time is the most precious thing. Do they know? know what you do for a living? Like, yeah, they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're aware that their moms is Yeah, huge. they're 11 now. So they're super, super aware. They're like a little adults now. Oh gosh. Do they ever say anything to you that's off the wall? Like, mom, can you not go work and stay home with oh, us? Oh yeah, yeah. They do. When are you going to be home all the time? And so, you know, and, and that's just recently because right. they've been just been so used to me being working and everything. But they were always with me because they were homeschooled. Now they're going to a regular school for the past year and a half. So they're How's like, that been? it's harder. It's it harder is. for us. I've had to adjust my life and figure things out and do things in the summer and not so much in the winters right. and, you know, take three, four months off in the middle of the year, you know, so just to be with them, you know. Do you have to bring cupcakes in? Are you doing the whole? Yeah, we do that sometimes. <laughs> I don't always get to do all of that stuff right. because I am a working mom. Sure. But, um, you know, 
when I can, I do. Do you embarrass them? Like, no, give me a hug and a kiss before you go. I, I mean, I, I do it at wherever, I, even at home. <laughs> I'm like, give me more kisses, more hugs. Now, it doesn't matter how yeah. you feel. Yeah. So you're getting ready for the world tour yes. to celebrate your birthday. This yes. is exciting. It is exciting because it was like, okay, we had an offer to go on tour after I finished Vegas. And they're right. like, when can you go on tour? When can you tour? And I was like, you know what would be nice? If we did it in the summer, right around my birthday, mm. and we just like celebrated since we, I wasn't trying to do like a world tour, like where we went out for a year, not a world tour, but like a year sure, and uh, a long tour. Uh, and I just was like, okay, we can do a smaller one, but let's like make it really special. I like this. And so we decided like, we'll only do this many shows. We'll go over June and July. We'll end around my birthday and we'll, we'll like celebrate every night. I think I like that. That's the vibe I, I'm feeling right now. Yeah. I just, I, and it just feels more authentic to what you're doing in the yeah. space you're in right now. Yeah. Do the kids go with you? Or? Yeah, they go with me. That's why I put it in the summer. <sighs> Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Your man's going with you? He'll be on tour. Yeah. I mean, he has Sunday night baseball and all his right. obligations. Um, you know, he does a lot of stuff too. Uh, so he'll be there when he can be there. Right. And, how's, and I'll how's... be at Sunday night baseball when I can be at Sunday this night baseball. This is so baseball. cute. I feel like life is really good for you right now. It is. It feels, you know, when you realize that your happiness is in your own hands. Facts. Things change. And I think it takes a long time for most people to get there, myself included. And once I realized, like, oh, my God, my life is so great. And I think having kids changed this perspective for me because I was always like, oh, I'm going to be happier. I'm, this is going to be I better. This. I need this, yeah. this. My work could do this. I could do this more. I want more of this. I want more of that. Da, da, da. And it's just like once you have kids and they bring such a joy and happiness to your life by just being like mm. being in the same room with them, like that's enough. Um, then everything changes. You're like, wow, I, my career is great. I have these amazing kids. We're all healthy. Um, yes. I, 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 I work with people that I love. I have so much love in my life. And all of a sudden you're just like happy all the time. And not, not that you don't get upset at things. I get pissed off i'm impatient i'm you know i have my bad days you know what i mean but for the most part i walk through life going i have the most amazing life and Mm. i am so blessed and i am happy Mm. because you can feel blessed and all that and still not Oh yeah, one hundred percent be happy. This is it's the gratitude, I think. And so, um, once that falls in, then you you're, you realize like, oh okay, I can just be happy all the time. It's just really a choice. It's a perspective. What, at what moment? Because I think this is beautiful advice for so many people. Do you remember that aha moment for you? Was it just, you know what? I'm around my family right now. I'm good. Was there anything that you realize I got it now? Um, I think it was. It's a slower process than got that. It. I think okay. it happens little by little. As you know, like I said, once I had the kids, my whole perspective on life changed, and then it was like working and relationships, and you know, not being so attached to a you know a relationship, right. and going, you know what, I'm still happy even though I'm over here and I'm on my own and I'm by myself. I'm I feel good right now. Right, and life is good and. If somebody shows up, fine. And if they don't, I'm still happy. Right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but when then, it's funny because that's when you attract the right thing. One thousand percent. And I think that's where I am right now. You can see it. Yeah. And I'm so happy for that. Just because when you, you know, you're an idol and just as a woman, I always want to see other women you happy. Do well. Right. Like do well, not just career, but life kids, family, whatever it is that they want to do. But to see you, I feel like you're always glowing. Like there's Thank a you. sense of I'm good. I'm yeah. at peace. I'm at peace. I think that's a really good way to put it. What's the best piece of advice you would give young J-Lo? Bronx J-Lo. And trying to come up J-Lo. Enjoy it more. <sighs> you know, see when you're in yes. your 20s and you're, you're like a teenager <laughs> and you're in your 20s, you think you know everything. Yes. And so it's such a funny time when you look back on that and realize you knew nothing, but you were talking <laughs> so much absolutely like you knew everything and you look back now and it's it's so embarrassing (laughs) 
And now, so young, I would just be like, stop talking so much. Stop thinking you know it all. <laughs> Keep learning and right. enjoy yourself. Yeah. Like I had so many great things happen to me young, you know, right. um, as far as my career and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. And I was just like, and I enjoyed it, but I was such on the grind and I was so about, oh, I need to be better and I need to do this and I need to do that and we got to keep going and I got to yes. keep going. It gave me, the work gave me a kind of a validation of like that I was worth something. And when you realize like, you know, it's not really about the work. That doesn't make you important. Oof. You know what I mean? That doesn't make you more special or anything like that it's what makes you important is that you're a good person yes and that's what needs to shine through yes and again like when you switch those perspectives right. like that your, your life becomes so much better and, and you can enjoy yes. it more and i think that's why i say the first thing is like enjoy it more because, and taking that time for yourself yeah I, do, are you enjoying this? Because I don't know what's left for you. For real, Jennifer. I'm there's seeing, so much. Oh, my God. Me, if there was nothing left? left, then life would be over. No, <laughs> I feel like you've so done much. it all and no. so well at such a I high level. I do a lot of things. Right. I do a lot of things. And I, and I have accomplished a lot of things, a lot of dreams that I've had. But I have many, many more. Really? I have many, many more. Yeah. What, is there something, whether it's music or movies or just even, I know you're doing your YouTube show, but is there something that you haven't put your hands on yet and you just cannot wait to make this happen? I think, you know, producing and directing and making music and, you know, creating businesses and all of that stuff is, is, is all a creative mm. outlet for me. And so there's always going to be some new project right. that excites me. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm excited for hustlers. Let me yeah, tell you me something. Too. I'm so excited for this because I feel like it's a, there's empowerment behind it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, of course, we love seeing you. But I love that you got Cardi on, man. And I yeah. love that you're I just feel like when you've been in a game, you could open up doors for other people and put them on different projects. Absolutely. One of the conversations I had with Cardi, I was like, you know, it's great when you're having hit records at the beginning of your career and you're that person that they're playing on the radio. You know, I've been there all, all day, all long, right. all day long, every day. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you always want to think about diversifying yourself. Right. So because at some point, one record is not going to go. Facts. One album's not going <laughs> to And you want to... You don't ever want people counting you out right. or saying they say you're over at the first chance they get. Right. And you just can't let them. Right. You know, you have to think about uh, the multifaceted artists in this age and time mm. is something that is, is almost doesn't it not that it just exists. It's necessary. Yeah. And so um, we, we definitely when I called her about the movie, we talked yeah. about that a little bit. And uh, and it's 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 definitely something that is foremost in my mind all the time of mm. like nobody's gonna put me in a box nobody's gonna tell me i can and can't do this or i can't do that or this you know music doesn't act and acting doesn't sing and right. this doesn't do that and producer and you can't direct and you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't you know have a billion dollar company no, no i'm gonna have all of that I'm going to have all of that and I'm going to be happy right? and I'm going to be good to people and I'm going to help others out I and I'm going to put other people on. That's, yes. that's what I'm going to do. That's purpose. And I'm going to yeah. be smiling while I'm doing it. You know what <laughs> yes. I mean? So that's, that for me is like working with Cardi or working with anybody, you know, right. uh, you know, who's coming up is, 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 uh, is, is a pleasure for me. Mm. I love hearing that, you know, and I feel like just to hear the connection and the support that you gave her, I can't wait to see what Hustlers is about. I mean, of course, yes, we're going to see the you dancing, know, the polls. I but love, yes, it's going to be course. sexy and fun sure. and all of that. It should be. That right. world has an element of that. Absolutely. But it's really about delving into that, a world that people don't know. Mm. You know, it's almost like when you think about the movie Goodfellas, if you know this movie mm -hmm. uh, with Martin Scorsese and mm -hmm. Ray Liotta and Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro, they delved into a world Right. That was underground, but that you got to see it in a different way. Right. It wasn't a glamorized way. It was it was still kind of like <laughs> sexy and fun and dangerous. Right. You're like, wow, this is real. Right. Like this is also scary. And and, and that to me is a good story right. when you can. And that's what this is. We're delving into a world that's a little bit underground that a lot of stuff goes on where it can be kind of sexy and fun and dangerous, but also it, it's 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 scary and you know right. it's the reality uh, the reality of it and to me telling those stories is always fun because it teaches you a little bit about life right of course and um 
those are the type of movies that I love and, right. and playing like interesting characters like that of things that I don't I you know I didn't grow up in that and right. I didn't know that so it's like for me it's interesting to kind of get into that mindset of like doing something and making certain choices and and uh, and being a different type of person mm. than than who I grew up as you know right so it's fun. I'm I'm excited to see this. I shout out to Ebro, Ebro in the morning. He was talking to you on Apple and talking about how your man was there going to the strip club, yeah. getting you ready for this role. Yeah. So at this point, do you know how to make it clap? Can you know is it is it you is know, it that or is that not really what happens at the strip club? Like, no, I mean some girls do, some girls don't. Okay, I mean so when we you have go and hang on a strip club, there's all different types. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So um some girls dance more some girls dance less some right. girls do the pole a lot some don't really can't get down on the pole yes. they just walk around it and you know what i mean so this is the real thing it's right. not like it's like gonna be a bunch of clapping booties yeah. in the camera that's not what this story is about right but it's definitely real because it's part of the there's life lap dances there's right. lap dances and those lap dances are not glamorized it's not a dance routine right this is about something else mm. you know what i mean so it, it's 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 about just doing it as authentically as possible possible and then right. telling the story of these four girls which is kind of crazy interesting empowering and also illegal yes and weird. you know what i mean so there's it, it again multi-layered right lots of lots of fun for an actress for and, sure and a, and a director to kind of you know uh delve into that and tell that story and have fun with it yeah right and i thought it was you know, when I look back at your career, did you know that you always wanted to act? Like, when you were a fly girl, like, did you know when you were working and busting your butt, like, okay, yeah. this is just a little bit of what I want to do? Did yeah. you already have your mindset? Oh, yeah, for sure. When I was a fly girl, I was uh, taking acting classes already. It's so funny because I have the same coach no. that I have. Now he's on the set of Hustlers with me. I don't take him on every movie, right. but on Hustlers because I'm producing and, you know, starring. And, you know, I was like, this I need dope. an extra set of eyes. Um, and he and he we were talking about that. We were talking right. about how I started when I was a fly girl and I went into his class right. and I made such a <laughs> the first day in the first game that he did first acting game. I was, I was so over the top. He was like, <laughs> whoa like he had to take notice of me right away um but yeah we still work together i and, love and, this and back then i definitely knew that i was gonna do other right. things yeah besides dance what's the most important characteristics when it comes to like your best friend or your man or you know just people you work with because i had a chance i was telling you uh, to interview leah remini on my show called talk stoop on nbc and she was just talking about loyalty and mm -hmm. that, I'm really big on loyalty. Like nothing matters to me to work with people or, or just friendships or just something that you admire about people. Is that definitely what, what? loyalty? But I would say I, I love people with passion who have a passion because it doesn't even matter what it is. Right. You know, it just could be like that. They do it with pride and passion. Right. Is is important. Mm -hmm. I think that that makes life worthwhile when you have a passion. I I I agree. Yeah. I, I feel like you carry so much passion just because by just seeing your team, everyone's so professional and polite. Yeah. But I feel like that reflects you. Yeah. Right. Because you could tell when those those energies aren't there. Yeah. Yeah. So now at being a businesswoman and, a you know, someone who's just broke so many barriers. Right. When you were coming up, did you ever think like. Oh, I'm being held back because you're Latina. And how did you overcome all those barriers at that time earlier in your career? Is it is you know is is how you see yourself in your mind mm. that the world reflects back to you? And I think because I didn't pigeonhole myself, right? They weren't allowed to pigeonhole me. You know, they wanted to, right? And I saw that it existed. And they were willing, you know, it's like, oh, go for this type. You're going to go for the Spanish type or the one who has an accent or this. Or that. That's all they want to send you out for. And I was like, no, send me out for this. Mm. I want to do a romantic comedy. I want to do this. I just want to be the girl in the movie. Right. I don't want to be a Latin girl. I want to be the human. Right. We're all human. Yeah, right. It doesn't matter what color you are or what race you are. We all have the same similar experiences and feelings and emotions. Right. And that's what it takes to be an actress. So I was like, why are you? I have the same emotions as somebody else. And not that you can't play a certain type or this, that. Sure. Yes. There's certain types that are suited right. to different things. But at the end of the day, it's like because I didn't allow people 
to put me in that box they weren't able to for someone who's trying to break into because the industry, it absolutely exists right it's a real that is a real situation for so many people. So what's the best piece of, of advice for someone? Is it like turning gigs away? Because now you're talking about, man, this might be my bill. I could pay it off. Like, how did you demand the respect that you deserve and the equality that you feel that you... You know, in the beginning, you don't have that much of a choice. You, you're it. getting what you get. You're auditioning. You're hoping to get a role. <laughs> right. You want to pay your bills. Like you want. <laughs> it's a different game. And then, as you get to a point, you you can start choosing. Right. And you can say no right in the beginning if you're willing to starve for a little while too. Mm. It's just it's, it's up to you. And I think everybody has their own path. I think, you know, what I did and what's right for me is maybe not be right for the next person. Right. Or for somebody else. You really have to follow your gut right. and your sensibility. You know who you are and what's right for you. Mm. Really, I cannot tell you that. Mm. I can't. Mm -hmm. I the same way you can't tell me right. what's right for me. You say, but I don't think J-Lo should do that. It's like, yeah, but J-Lo thinks J-Lo should do that. <laughs> so J-Lo going to do that. You know what I mean? So, talk that talk, and, I'm not, and not to talk in the third person like a crazy person. No, but I'm just no, saying, right. No, I got Nessa, you. Nessa, nobody can tell Nessa what to do. <laughs> right, right, right. Only Nessa knows. And if I go, Nessa, I don't think you should right. do that. You can be like, but it feels right to me. Right. And that's what you should do. I agree. I'm with you a thousand percent. What would you like your legacy to be remembered as? Mm, just I just think that I I want people to know that that we really are limitless like mm. we really can accomplish anything that we set our minds to do if we work hard enough at it mm. I think the work is required but I think there are no boundaries right when it comes to dreams and desires of things you want to do with your life right that's personally or professionally right that you deserve all of that, whatever you want. Mm. But you have to be willing to do the work. Just a couple fast, fun questions before you run out of here, and you get one pass with these, okay? So, should women go half on a first date? No. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> if your friend smelled, would you tell them? Yes. <laughs> then you're not a friend if you didn't tell them. Would you rather have bad BO or bad breath? Uh, neither <laughs> unacceptable both. unacceptable unacceptable should couples share phone codes um there is a certain amount of privacy that i think is required in sure. relationships you know it's like if you misread something like i don't want you to know that i'm getting you this and if you're going through my phone then you're gonna blow it like you know what i mean things right. like that um but for the most part there should never be an anxiety if I reach for your phone. Right. If you get anxiety when I reach for your phone, you're sending me clear signals that there is a problem. Yes. Yeah. And I'm going through it all. Yeah. One by one. Instagram, Twitter, everything. <laughs> it's I'm gonna actually search. No, keyword. I don't wanna ever have to do that. Oh, if it yeah. has to get to that, I'm yeah, out. You're I I know, I have left already. Ooh and That's yes. not that's not part of that's not part of the deal. Yes. When you're friends. Yes. You got to trust each other. Mm. I got to know that you have me and I have you. If I have to go through your phone. It's not the one. Yeah, we got to go. Yeah, we got to go. I wanted to show you this before you run off. Why won't she wave back to me? She's going to end the wig. Jada! I'm with you! You were so pleasant. I think I think I remember you saying I, I was like, fuck I with fuck you. With you, J -Lo, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was like, hey, yes. You're like, oh my god, it must be back in New York. Yes. Welcome back. We are in New York. I and mean, I'm I'm just happy for this opportunity to thank talk you. with you and thank you for the inspirational words. I know so many of us can use that right now. And congratulations on being happy in your thank life. Thank you. Thank you. Excited to see what else you're gonna do. I know. I'm excited too. I'm excited to see what you're gonna do too. Hey man, we're out here. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. <laughs>